Hey guys, I'm going to show you how our broadcast delay operates today. Now our station operates with a broadcast delay to ensure no bad words are accidentally broadcast. Now our station operates with a four second delay, as you can see here, which means our FM transmission and our FM stream are delayed four seconds, meaning your listeners hear your broadcast four seconds late. Now with this buffer, I can dump some of the audio, ensuring that we hopefully capture and cut out the profanity that was accidentally uh, said. So if I come over here and I hit dump, you'll now notice we're down to two, meaning two seconds of our delay, and you'll see it's slowly starting to rebuild. Now I just dumped two seconds of our audio buffer. Now this box is doing its best to rejoin or sew back together the disjointed song or your speech, which we just cut out because that had the bad word in it. So now that you see it's all done, and now you're back to normal. If I hit this again, you'll now notice it's operating rather slowly. This is because it only tries to rebuild the buffer when it's quiet. If I stop my input, you'll notice the meters are down. You'll now notice it'll start to rebuild a lot faster. If you're having a talk show, that means it'll rebuild faster in case you have to press this. I'm going to turn my content back on. You also notice there's now a sneeze button. Now, the dump button dumps two seconds of audio always, and you can hit it again too. Now, this will deplete the whole buffer and you won't have anything left, but hopefully four seconds is plenty for you to capture whatever was just said. You'll also notice we have something called a sneeze button. Now this will dump the audio as long as you're holding it down. So it can be either short or it can be the whole buffer. And you'll notice when I release it, slow build will start to light. That means it's slowly rebuilding. And then again, you'll see the meters start to fill up. Now, if it's any case, such as you're doing a talk show or an interview over the phone or something, where you, it's very likely that someone might accidentally curse if they don't understand our policy, you're going to have to ensure that our four second delay is there. What I mean by that is, if I hit bypass over here, it's lit, and you'll notice there's no longer numbers here. This means that the delay is not active. This can never be the case, because now you, we have no backup just in case any curse gets through. So if you ever see the broadcast delay like this, ensure bypass is not active. If it is, you can hit it, and then you'll notice that our delay is going to start to rebuild again. Now, this rebuilds automatically, but you might notice these other buttons over here. Now we have fast and slow rebuilding and fast and slow release. Rebuilding is what you would expect. It means it's building the buffer. So if I went into bypass again, to, so I cleared the buffer, whoops, and I'm coming back, you'll notice it's rebuilding it fast. And then now it's rebuilding it slowly once it gets halfway up. So no one should ever hit fast or slow release. This releases the buffer as you would expect. We need that four second delay as insurance, so you should never hit that. But if you come in here and then you see it's zero, that means the delay is not there, you, the bar is not filled. So you would have to come over here at slow or fast rebuild to make sure that buffer comes back up. You also notice that the dump button light comes on when there's enough, two seconds. So this is how it operates. Now, this is not perfect, meaning that whenever it dumps audio, it's noticeable to the listener, but it's doing its best to make it cleaner. So, this is not an excuse to not vet your music of profanity. This is a backup. This does not do a clean DJ mute like you might have on a DJ deck if you can like quickly mute wherever a curse word is. This is not for that. But you should never be afraid to use this because this means you caught the curse word and then everything's fine. So you have to be comfortable with using this. Now, when you come in here, everything should usually be set up and no one should be touching this unless it's not already set up.